Okay, so let's start with this, okay? So the idea is to do a main deck for this tournament with the metagame that we expect. And the metagame that we expect after watching the reports from the tournaments that we have, it's Tribe Gate Zoo and Adam Emancipator being the main ones. Like, I need, I need to narrow down, okay? I need to narrow down a little bit. So Adam Emancipator and try Melfi, and then the other next decks, in my opinion, are Dryton, Phantom Knight, Virtual World, and then Respect with Trap decks in the side deck, mostly. I feel like those are the main things. There's a lot of overlapping here, okay? Like, the combo, some cards for the combo decks also works against Virtual World, and that works against other things, okay? So... And that's the idea, try to overlap. Uh, so those are the decks, but like out of popularity, I feel like Adam Emancipator is the combo of choice, I think, unfortunately, but I think it makes sense because in my opinion, it's the best combo one. Um, and then you have Tri Zoo because the most popular one, best performing one, okay? Okay, then I, I will create a side deck one here which I will call side deck turn now meant fab yes I will say that how the Mesopotamus plays into my city so what Christian said is that um, if you have Maxi you stop it if you don't you go for it <laughs> so that's what I have <laughs> that's what I have that's the information that I have Okay, so let's see the main deck first. I don't think this is going to change much, okay? I feel like what will definitely change is that I'm not going to, to main storms, and I feel like I need to put in, the Imperm back. And I feel like the card that I'm considering changing are maybe the Crow, and maybe, I mean, I need to add one card. So I have this as a possibility. I feel like everything else I will keep. The Maxi, the Gammas, the Imperm, I will keep the Calls. Uh, so I'm considering putting the Nib back. Uh, it's also interesting because there is some factors. Like, if my opponent, and that's the problem of being no, okay? The fact, if my opponent knows that I don't play any beer, they will go for it. So, and people usually know what I'm playing and know my list and know my shit, okay? So, maybe it's good to main this nib. The problem with maining a bunch of nibs is that sucks into um, Charlie Gazoo. And really, really sucks. It's really bad. Uh, and that's not great. So, what I'm considering. Maybe Master Duo Play don't know you. Yeah, that's true. But I don't know if that's enough to not play at least one Nib main. I feel like because I do have one space. So I feel like maybe this will happen. Okay? This is the deck that I was playing in the, in the, ladder the other day, by the way. Uh, so. That's my first idea. What I can consider doing is maybe not maining the scroll, maybe siding the scroll, and play another nib. Because this scroll is also bad into Tribe Gate Zoo. So maybe the second nib, it's good. But I feel like the, the deck will be something like this. I don't even have three nibs, so I only have two. But... I could craft another one if I open some packs. It's obedience cool. Uh, okay, that's obedience cool. I I can maybe side the crow instead and do something like this because I will play at least one crow somewhere because this crow can help into Phantom Knights, but but that's always nib. And also can help against what's the name of the deck? 
virtual world. Crow is good into virtual world. Uh, into PK, yeah. I guess right. I mean, this is a tough decision. There is no like completely, absolutely easy answer. Because if there was an easy answer, I would have already answered that, okay? So this is like me trying to go like this. I'm going to play Cop of the Grave, yes. I'm not going to cut Cop of the Grave. This is a decision that I already made. Oh, there is like noise happening. What happened? Oh, we got a cheer. Thank you for the cheer. Thank you very much. Yo, name's too difficult. L G F R X X X. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer. Um, so, I will play Cop of the Grave. I feel like it's really important to not get completely maxi and ash and all that. Cop of the Grave also helps to negate ashes that are negating your maxi. There are shit like that going on. So, I will play. <laughs> of course, I'm not playing 41. So, uh, this is something that I can consider. Hmm. This is something that I have in mind. I'm fine with signing Crow, not gonna lie. Uh, I need call, yeah, I feel like I need call. Is important better than Valor even with Maxi? This is a consideration. I feel like this is more relevant when you go first. Because when you go first, uh, you can randomly draw the Valor. But I feel like when you go first, it's usually fine. If you have like a combo plus maxi, even if you don't draw into Valor, it's fine. Uh, because you can draw into Nib, into Ash, and you have your own interactions already. It's hard for you to lose. It's not impossible, of course, but it's harder. But I feel like Imperm is so much better when second that I feel like it's just five away, especially because Imperm is something that you can get off pot a lot. With PK and right in the format, not having Crow is weird. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But Nibiru is not bad. Like, that's that's my argument here. Uh, yeah, it could be one Nibiru, one Crow. That's a possibility. I feel like that's the only question that I have right now. Whatever is not here will be inside deck. Maybe having one Crow is more valuable than the random second Nib. Uh, those are the, the things. Are you playing into drawing like a bird? What do you mean by that? Um, so those are the considerations. Maybe I can still have, have the crow, but crow, it's much worse. Uh, so what? what's the thing about this? Is that crow, it's bad into the two main decks, I would say, which is Tribigate, which is Nibiru is also bad, but against Adam and Superior, Nibiru is much better, right? Is much better. It's a tournament that community is doing that people are playing with Psyduck. Uh, I feel like game is super fine. The meta game is not the it's not that wide open. I already narrowed down to like five decks because I'm looking at tournament scene, not ranked play. They are extremely two different things. They're way far apart. So, let's be honest. No, not necessarily. I feel like if you have a chance to win, it is with Nib. If there is any chance to win, maybe Nib is involved. Yeah, that's the thing. But, like, against some decks, the crow can matter. Yeah, the, the, the big upside of Crow is being searchable, searchable. Um, that's the thing. I, I, I prefer playing the Crow. I'm just trying to see if it's even worth, because against the Mesopito, it's absolutely bad. Like, really bad. And if people really go for it, it's weird. Yeah, tournament, yeah. I think I have to discard Eldritch main deck wise. I don't have a choice. It's impossible to consider. Combo decks, Tribigate Zoo, and Eldritch in the same deck list is impossible. It is a, doing that is a recipe to failure. Like, you can't do everything at once. But again, both sides, like, I can resolve that. That's why Best of Three is like a billion times better. There is not a lot of Eldritch. Yeah, I don't think Cutting Crow is that bad. 
Because Crow is really bad in the tree, but Nibiru is also bad. Crow is really good in two hours. Yeah, I will side. If I don't play Crow Man, that will be sided, don't worry. Searching that crew is game changer, I agree. It's a match, but yes, it is. Uh, crow is much better into Adam Cipero, but like Adam Cipero is so difficult to win anyway. I feel like that's the main thing, like it's so difficult to win against Adam Cipero to begin with. If you go first, you win a lot against Elvish. You lose against Elvish, you go second. If you go first, it's fine in my opinion. But it's so difficult to win against Adam Peter that I don't feel like maybe it's not worth to take out the net, to take out the crow, and that crow really matters in other matchups. Uh, tri tri Zeus sometimes also play going second versus Zeus. They make Zeus first, then carry that stand. Nib is good here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that situation. But, com yeah, comparing to Kuro is better. I feel like Nibiru... The, the, like, if you only compare... Okay, let's put like this. If you compare Kuro to Nib directly, I feel like Nib is better. The thing about Kuro is that it's searchable. And that gives the one Kuro a lot of value. There is also the possibility, which I, I, I don't want to take it, to just add the crew here and solve the situation. <laughs> but I really dislike playing 41. Uh, but... I, I really want to play to Nid. Yes, 41, oh my god, you guys are going to convince me to play 41? Okay, I hate this. Yeah, I mean, it is possible! It's not against the rules, I would say that. It's against my rules. But, like, it's not against the rules of the game to play like this. I hate this, okay? I absolutely despise this. But that would solve this conversation. <laughs> no, I mean, it's fine. I know it's fine. I just, like... I, 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 I want all my percentages. <laughs> Uh, I, I really don't want to do that. Two gamma one driver, yeah. The rough on Evans, but yeah, half hour would be prime. I know, I know, I know. But that's something that could happen, right? Because it, it, it has to be something like this. Um, I feel like the only cuttable cards are the nib. I, I even consider doing this, okay? This is something that I consider doing, like this. And playing two in perms. This is also something that I consider. But like in perm is so good if you try that I feel like you can do that. Um, yeah, but if you think like that, Epistrophe, your name is too difficult, Epistrophe, I think. Then you can add another card, and another card, and another card, and then when does it stop? Like 44, 45, 46, it's not like, that. like, this is not the only angle, like, this is an angle that justify doing that, but it's not the only angle. Weekend. Torment is the weekend. Um, Sword Soul is a different deck than this. Maybe Cutting Kid? No, no way. I don't think I can touch Engine. I don't think it's completely out of possibility to play 41. And I noticed something. I never side with Master Duo, okay? Master Duo matter. And what I noticed is that I usually, if possible, I don't side the cards going second. I don't know if that's going to be possible, okay? Just saying. But if possible, for example, against Tree, Tree Zoo, I would try to not side that out if possible. Uh, yeah, there is a tournament in this weekend. Do a links in the tournament. So, uh, yeah. No, I, I can side on top of my head. I don't need to open something. 
Um, okay. Okay, I, I will put further one for now, okay? Then I, I change something if necessary. So that, I will do like this for now. Okay, I will do this for now. Okay, and then maybe I could want the nib or the crow. I feel like those are the options. But I don't like to play for everyone, as everyone knows. Uh, 